Did you ever think this day would come? Uh, no, I never thought. It's, it's, you know, it's really too much to, to think about. Uh, and there, there are so many people who are deserving of the award that, yeah, you, you can't really think about it. First time the phone rang was at 3.43, and I didn't get to the phone <laughs> soon enough to answer it because I was fast asleep. And then quite a few minutes later, it rang again, and I managed to get to it in time to uh, get the good news. <laughs> Finally made it. You're late today. Sorry. No, the phone <laughs> just kept ringing. I just couldn't get out of it. Yikes, 276. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so excited for you. Um, Thanks. I actually just have a good question. Should I cancel my thesis committee meeting today? Uh, <laughs> well, thanks, Mom. It's for you, too. <laughs> yeah, since 4 a.m., it's been uh, just nonstop. Yeah, I didn't want to wake you up. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know the Lamaze method? Breathe deeply, yeah. Yeah, do, do all that. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thank Thanks for you. coming by, Peter. Oh, it's my pleasure. I've been looking forward to this day. We all knew it would happen. Well, um, I want to thank so many people in my family uh, for allowing me to uh, spend long hours working in the lab on the research. Thank you, Yajin. So what's your plan for today? Uh, just do whatever I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I'd like to thank my mentors, all the uh, many members of my laboratory, Dean Rothman, President Daniels, Mike Armstrong, uh, one of the, uh, the trustees at Hopkins, has been so generous in, in supporting the lab. So Hopkins is just a fantastic place to do research because there's so many uh, great people who, whatever you want to do, they know how to do it and they're willing to help you. And that's kept me here for 33 years. We're here today to celebrate the groundbreaking work of our colleague Greg Semenza. Greg, we're extremely excited for you as you receive this highly deserved recognition and proud to call you friend and colleague. Greg is the 28th Nobel Laureate associated with Johns Hopkins, a prestigious list that gives great pride to our entire community. And we know, Greg, that though this honor is a profound, indeed a momentous one for you, that you will be right back in the lab tomorrow, if not later this afternoon, to continue doing the work that you have done for decades in order to advance knowledge that serves humanity. We started out asking a really simple question, um, how does the body uh, control red blood cell production? Based on our work and the work of the other awardees, uh, there are trials involving over 20,000 people now. And then, uh, the hips play an important role in cancer, and I think there are going to be many other applications. So it's really important that the public understand the importance of research and how it leads to new treatments. Um, and, I, and I think that you know our discovery is il illustrative of that because I think there will be treatments both for anemia and cancer um, in the next few years. And it's been a, it's been a lot of fun to collaborate on on this project and. Amazing.